Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Nelson Woodworks. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this floating shelf for my son without using traditional floating shelf hardware. So, let's get into the video. So we're redecorating my son's room and he has this empty space right above his bed. So we wanna go ahead and put a floating shelf above it. He's got a few decorations that we wanna put above his bed. So let's get to building a floating shelf. So I'm gonna be making this shelf out of some poplar because I'm planning on painting it to try to match it to my son's bed. This poplar I had left over from a project that I did about a year ago. Uh, it's been sitting in the garage, but it's got a little bit of a twist or a little warp to it. So I'm gonna cut it down to a little bit oversized, a little over three feet, cut it down and run it through my planer to get it as flat as possible. Now, because I don't have a jointer, I have a planing sled and because we have this twist, I'm gonna use a shim, get it up underneath the, and shim it up to where it's completely flat. So this board, I only need one shim. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it in with some hot glue so that the board doesn't move. And only because it only has one shim, I'm gonna add hot glue just on another part of the board just so it doesn't move uh, when it's running through the planer. This piece, now that it's flat, it does already have one straight edge. So I'm gonna run that straight edge against my table saw fence, run it through my table saw and cut another straight edge. Now we're gonna measure the board and put three marks on the piece, one in the middle and two on either side. Now we'll use a center hole punch to punch down each of our crosshairs and we will go ahead and drill a hole using a 5 8 of an inch drill bit for our dowels that will go through the shelf. So I actually don't own a 5 8 inch drill bit so we're going to use a 5 8 inch Forstner bit and we're going to put some blue tape on the end because we want the dowel to go down about three inches so we don't go too far down. Uh, I guess I'll have to get some bigger drill bits for the future. After you're done drilling all three holes, we'll run the piece through the table saw, cutting off an inch and a half from the edge. Now after we finish cutting off the piece, we want to go ahead and label the side so that way when we match it back up later, we know what side goes on to what so we don't get it flipped around on accident and then nothing lines up correctly the way it should. Now we want to go ahead and measure three inches of our dowel. I'm having to use a oak dowel for this. You can use poplar or another type of dowel. I just need something that should be able to support the weight. Now we can do a test fit, putting the dowels inside each hole and then putting the top on and any dowels that are a little long, like it looks like this one's just a hair long, we can go ahead and cut off the excess with our plush trim saw. And then we can sand that smooth. So I went ahead and gave it two coats of primer and two coats of paint, sanding with a thousand grit in between. Now that it's painted and dry, we can go ahead and get the back section attached to the wall with studs or you can use drywall anchors. I'm using my stud finder to find studs in the wall. However, I think mine might be broken because I did put it against my chest and it did not beep at me at all. Okay, I'm sorry, couldn't help it, bad joke. Once we find the studs, we can take the small piece of the shelf and get it where we want it on the wall and mark some lines on it so we can pre-drill our holes. Now we can drill our holes with a countersink bit and then we'll also get the screws partway through the piece, make it easier to screw into the wall. Now we can drill the shelf into the studs, making sure that the shelf is leveled before we drive in the rest of our screws. Now we can place the front of the shelf over the dowels, getting everything pressed up against firmly, and we can call this project finished. All 
I really like the way that this shelf turned out. My son really enjoys having his name right over his bed. If you liked videos like this, I have more coming out in the future, so make sure you're subscribed, like and comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.